Having a healthy investment account requires the same amount of work as having a healthy, fit body. If you want to get to the Olympics, you have to put a plan in place. It takes hard work and good coaching. Being wealthy doesn't happen by luck either. At Brisbane Money Management, we have more than 50 years experience coaching people to their financial goals. It's never too soon to start. Start today. I've got Alan Ferguson from the University of Queensland. How are your guys going to go today, Alan? Yeah, no, we're expecting them to uh, perform quite well. Uh, it'll be a tough game, of course. Um, uh, we're up against a tough opposition. They play some good hockey and uh, have some exceptional traps. Uh, we're hoping to counter those and uh, come out with a, a positive result. Who are the guys to watch on the opposition uh, from your point of view? Uh, there are a couple of Richards brothers, um, and there, there are a couple of other chaps. Don't want to give away too many secrets, um, but uh, you know we'll need to, we'll need to be on our game uh, to make sure that we uh, we come away with the right result. We've got uh, PR St. St Andrews uh, up against uh, University of Queensland today. How do you think your guys are going to go today? Yeah, look, we're tracking really well at the moment, so I think it should be a, a nice close game. We always have a close game against you. Oh, yeah, we're certainly up with each other, so looking for a good one. You guys have got a couple of milestones uh, in this game. Uh, tell us a bit about who's um, playing. Yeah, so we've got Craig Smith, got his 150th today. So it's, uh, look, he's been a stalwart at our club for a while now. He's a T-bar boy that makes a journey down here every week. So uh, no, we're going out there to play for him, definitely. And uh, Pine River St. Andrews get us underway in the Brisbane Money Management BHA Division 1 match between Pine River St Andrews and University of Queensland. That's off a uni stick. Uni try to control it. Umpire's playing at Danny's, has a crack, and it just goes wide of the goal. Yeah. What's, watches it go Public. over the baseline. So you'll see here a um, possession inside the circle. Good trap uh, out there. Double battery again, goes to Joel Rintal. Another drag flick, uh, that hits the back of the net for the first goal, and University go up one goal to nil. So you see here, good drag flick from Rintala, um, aiming for the backboard height over in the right-hand corner of the goal. Just past the postman, a little bit of disappointed, reshaping that. He gets it through the legs and gets it down to... Madden, Madden works it into the circle and it's off high off a stick and yeah. it hits the back of the net. Good umpiring. Yeah. That draws the match one all. Some nice umpiring uh, at that end and you can see that people were uh, looking for the short corner here because it was lifted off the uh, university into the university's uh, body. and it could Oh, nice run, it. Miner. Can he pick it up? You'll get there. Uni scrambling back, into the circle, shot at goal, straight at Watts. Watts kicks it clear. Great shot from Minot there. Um, really a, a lovely pass through to him, and he streams down the field. Has plenty of time to line this up, and puts a great shot onto Watts, but Watts has got it. Rintal will come screaming out on this. It's his job. Ball's in. Not a good trap to Richards. Richards has a bit of a shot. It's, it's everywhere and scrambled uh, into the back of the net for Saints to go up two goals to one. Uh, Watch this a, one. Bit of, a <laughs> bit of a messy goal there. But uh, you can see he's missed the Tomo completely. It's bobbled all over the place. But that's probably the hardest thing for Watts was it's bouncing all over the ground. So Anderson goes back. Crack Gets ball. it to DeYoung and oh, 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 cracking oh, oh, oh. shot. That makes it three goals to one. Uh, Liam DeYoung special. And uh, here a beautiful tomahawk from DeYoung. Uh, nice simple pass. He runs through the gap into the circle. And look at that shot. Wow. Lots of calling by the uni defence. Notable Vale and another goal. <laughs> Hang on. Umpire awards the goal. That makes it four goals to one. So nice uh, run here from Anderson. You see uh, Jinx through a couple of players, makes a touch and back stick shot into the net. Saints now with possession in the uh, defensive quarter. So 
Saints with the ball. Buckley trying to get it back, but he can't. Good work from Anderson. Oh, nice piece of work. Back to the centre of the goal. Yeah, the spot. Start. And that makes it five goals to one. Good work from Anderson uh, there. Uh, nice team goal. And, and you'll see him uh, running the ball. Uh, makes the slide pass. Receives it back. Easy. Brings the goalkeeper out. And uh, easy goal for the Saints. Gets a free hit. Gets us underway again. Into the circle. And it's a backboard. <laughs> and that makes it six goals to one. Yes. You see on the replay here, um, a nice uh, injection from outside the circle, deflection into, past the goalkeeper into the net. And what's brought into action again and again, and this one dribbles over the line. That makes it seven goals to one. Can you believe it? Yeah, so it looked like uh, Harding again in the, um, in the circle. Uh, picks up another goal. And uh, the first shot, uh, Watts has saved, but uh, Harding's got the rebound and just put it to the right of the goalkeeper. To Rintalos. Goes to Joel. Joel Drake flick. Perfectly done. And that's the end of the match. Saints go out. Certainly deserved winners. They played a great brand of hockey. And they go out winners. Seven goals to two. First of all, I'd say there aren't too many smiles in the dressing room. We, uh, we got comprehensively spanked today. Um, nobody to blame but ourselves, and we've got to uh, regroup and uh, work a bit harder. Flash, we uh, had probably had a key injury in the second quarter um, and didn't really recover. Um, uh, we, we comprehensively outplayed. You can't say anything else, really. Uh, 150 games, yeah, pretty happy. Uh, feels like a lot. Um, the team probably performed better than we did in the last couple of weeks, so we knew we had to turn it around a bit. We had a bad loss against East last week, so we thought we'd just run hard and, and, and put it all out there. So we well. In training during the week, we identified that we don't start very well, so we thought we'd have a bit of a plan and we, we need to start better. We've been uh, scored against too many times early in the game, so a uh, hard start was what we needed and it worked well for them.